Okay, American involvement in Vietnam, 1964 to 1968. So the United Nations is gonna back France and the Viet Cong, or no, the United Nations backed by France and the Viet Cong would have intervened to set up a coalition to rule South Vietnam, but Johnson was too proud to let that happen. Um, the U.S. is going to set up a second coup in 1964. Uh, we didn't really care who was running the country as long as they weren't communists, similar to what we were doing in uh, Latin America. The United States is going to start bombing Laos because North Vietnamese was shipping weapons to the Viet Cong uh, through Laos. So North Vietnam is going to fire on two American destroyers in the Gulf of Tonkin. Um, this is never really confirmed that it happened. Um, it could be a way for uh, Johnson to get Congress to send more people or send more aid to um, South Vietnam. Um, so the Gulf of Tonkin kind of begins the major involvement of the United States in the Vietnam War. So um, LBJ is gonna use this issue and he's going to come up with the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which is gonna be passed by Congress. And it's going to allow the president to take any measures necessary to protect American interests in the region. It's a bad idea, it's a real, real bad idea. Um, so, we started to send ground troops in 1965. So Johnson is going to issue air raids in North Vietnam. Uh, it's called Operation Rolling Thunder, where we were dropping things like Agent Orange and Napalm on the northern part of Vietnam. Um, a lot of veterans from the Vietnam War struggle with a lot of lung issues because of the contaminants in Agent Orange and Napalm. Uh, it, really messed up uh, them if they were exposed to it because it's very hazardous. Um, there's going to be the Americanization of the Vietnam War once we start doing things like this. Um, the draft is underway. Uh, there were a lot of people who were draft dodgers who were moving to Canada or trying to escape to Canada in order to avoid being drafted. Uh, or they could be going to Mexico as well. There are over 30,000 United States men who are going to run to Canada to avoid being drafted. And um, there are going to be protests against our involvement in Vietnam. Um, in 1968, we have the Tet Offensive. Um, this is going to be named after the Vietnamese New Year. Uh, North Vietnam is going to damage U.S. troops and nearly capture the embassy in South Vietnam in the capital of South Vietnam, Saigon. Um, the United States underestimated the sophistication of North Vietnam or North Vietnamese in this war. Um, this was a major turning point in the war and people really started to speak out about how this was not going to be a win for the United States. So that brings us to the My Lai Massacre. So this is going to be the same year as the Tet Offensive. Um, the United States troops, because of what they were exposed to, they started to lose their crap. Uh, they couldn't really manage what they were seeing uh, and how things were happening. And it didn't really help that they knew that the United States at home really didn't have a lot of people that were supporting what was happening in Vietnam and people were being forced to go and serve with the draft. Um, so they were losing their cool. Uh, United States and the My Lai Massacre, our troops uh, or our soldiers uh, abused, tortured, and murdered an estimated like 347 to 504 innocent civilians. Um, they, they, it consisted of civilians, so that means women, children, and elderly. Not a lot of men were able to be involved in that because they were off fighting the war. So this story about the Miley Massacre is going to come out in November of 1969. Um, the summer of 1968 election is where I'm going to pick up for our class next time. So that would be 
on today's Tuesday, on Thursday, um, and we'll go from there.